Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a makeup look and it's not just an eye look. I think like the past couple um, videos I've done on my channel have been just eyeshadow looks, but this is this whole look. It's my go-to makeup look. It's really, really easy. No foundation at all is used. So it's really quick as well. And um, yeah, I really like this look and I hope you guys enjoy it too. I wear this a lot during the summer because it's just your skin underneath. So you don't have to worry about your, like, your foundation melting off or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. So to start this makeup look off, I like to start with my eyebrows. Um, so I'm going to do that first. If you really want this to look really, really natural, and I do this sometimes, um, I won't fill them in. I have pretty good eyebrows. They're not too, too, um, sparse or anything like that. So sometimes I will just take my gel and just like gel them up. Most of the time I fill them in because I like them to look very, very full. So I'm going to go ahead and fill them in now. So now that brows are on, we're going to move on and I kind of just go straight in to my skin. So we're not doing foundation, but there are like little spots that I do like to cover up and I have a little bit of redness. So I like to cover up like right here I'm breaking out. I have a breakout here. My chin gets really red and then right in this area I get some redness. So I'm going to take a concealer that matches my skin tone and this is the Master Conceal by Maybelline. I'm not sure what brand it is. It's honestly kind of old, but it looks like this. And I'm just going to dot a little bit on. I don't do too, too much, but just put some on in the problem areas. I don't want to cover my face in this. That would be like wearing foundation that's not my goal here i like to have my freckles out and about so um this also is good you can do this if you have like a problem with your under eye bags or you know maybe if you have redness anywhere else breakouts anywhere else you can also use like a cc cream if you wish or i don't know or if you have great skin you can just skip this skip this step and then i just take a little brush this is the one i use it's a morphe e8 i don't know it's kind of rubbed off me8 i don't know it's rubbed off but and i just kind of bounce that concealer in this just gives like a nice base but still allows your skin to kind of shine through but you know sometimes you have breakouts on your eye bags that we just want to get rid of. And I love doing this because I do this makeup look a lot. I do it a lot for work. I do it a lot just when I need to, when I want to wear, when I want to look a little bit put together but not wearing a full, full face. I do this a lot in the summer. It's really, really great for the summer. So next, this is a step that I'm just trying today. So you don't have to do this, but I wanted to try it out and see how I like it. So I'm going to take a cream contour. This is the um, Effect 11 Contour Stick by Morphe. By the way, I, if you saw my Morphe haul, I really, really like this. They bought that in there and I think it's a really good contour stick. So I'm just gonna take this where I would usually put it. And I always bronze when I do this makeup look, but it's usually just with a powder. But I kind of just wanted to see how this looks. So you don't have to do this. This is just me being a little bit extra. And next I'm gonna buff that out with the Morphe M437. And now that that is blended out, we're gonna go on with powder. I'm using the Jeffree Star Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This, was also, this I also bought in my Morphe haul really really like it would definitely recommend i think it's really great so what i like to do is where we did our con concealer at i like to bake that's just because i have oily skin you don't have to you can just powder over it however you'd like but i like to push it in and bake it and this will definitely help ensure that it stays kind of on throughout the day because since we don't have like a foundation base or primer on 
it could come off a little bit quicker than it would if we did have foundation on. So I like to really bake it in wherever we put concealer. If you have dry skin, you can do whatever you prefer. And then I also, because I'm oily skin, I get really oily here. So I'm just going to put it on over here as well. Um, that's also a good tip. If you have oily skin, but you're not wearing any makeup and you don't want to get super, super shiny throughout the day, you can powder over your skin and it'll work just fine. And I don't let it sit for too, too long. So next I'm going to take my bronzer. As you can tell, I'm still using my Too Faced one in my Morphe haul. Again, you guys should watch that video if you haven't seen it. Um, I bought a, pow a bronzing powder from Morphe and I don't like it. It's too orange. I think it's just, it's just, I don't like it because it doesn't look good on my skin tone. So maybe I'll try and get a different shade and see how that goes. But for now, I'm using my Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. And I'm gonna bronze in up the skin where we normally would except I'm also bringing it over my nose and in this area just because um because I have freckles it's naturally a little bit darker in these areas and I took that away with the concealer so I like to add it so it looks you know oh natural um but you can also do that I think it looks it's a really good look whether you have freckles or not it looks pretty cute and if you want freckles you can add them to this look that would be cool but I already have them, so I'm not worried about it. I like for this look to be very, very bronzy. I bronze it up a lot when I do my makeup normally, but I like it to be a little bit extra with this just because there's not going to be a lot going on anywhere else. So like the skin is a big focal point. Oh, this brush is a Real Techniques brush. It's a 201 brush. I think they advertise it as a powder brush or a blush brush. No, it can't be a blush brush. I think they advertise it as a powder brush, but I like using it for bronzing. It's really, really good for that. And then I also, this is something I've been recently doing. I don't usually do this, but I've been doing it and I kind of like it. So now I'm going to take blush. Um, you can do this. You don't have to. I You can also add highlight if you want. I don't add highlight because eventually I'll start getting oily and I'll have a natural kind of sheen. I kind of already do. So um, I don't add highlight but you definitely can if you wish. But anyway, I'm using the Milani blush in the shade Luminoso. Just gonna blush my cheeks up. I also bring this one to the nose in this region. A little bit, not too much. You can do no um, bronzer and just do blush. That would look really cute too, especially if you have like really nice skin, no freckles or anything. I think that would look really pretty, just rosy cheeks okay. and then we are going to do mascara and lashes this again is optional sometimes I just do mascara and um, sometimes I don't do any but I want to wear lashes today so if you're not a lash girl you can just do no lashes mascara I'm gonna do lashes I'm gonna do them off camera so I'll be right back so I'm back and I have lashes on do not ask me what kind or style these are I don't remember I'm reusing a pair, so sorry, I apologize, but I think that they're House of Lashes, but I don't know the style, so anyway, <laughs> the last step is lips. So I've been doing this new lip combo that I really, really, really like, um, and I used to only do lip balm on my lips, um, and you can definitely do that. Or you could put on lipstick if you really want. I don't really like putting lipstick on. I don't think it looks good with the look for on me anyway. I just don't think lipstick looks right when I don't have foundation and all the works on. I just think it looks like too heavy on me. But it definitely could work for you. So I recommend trying it. Um, you could also just put on lip gloss. But I've been doing this and I really, really, really like how it looks. I feel like it gives a 90s kind of look. And it's make sure lips look plumper, which I really like. I didn't like that with the lip balm, they didn't look as plump. So doing this is awesome. So I've been using the Morphe lip liner in the shade Sweet Tea. Highly, 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 highly recommend. It's a really great shade and it's a really good lip liner. It's nice and creamy. So I'm going to line my lips with this. 
I don't overline the bottom lip, but I am going to overline the top lip. Again, totally optional. What I also what I also like to do down here is fill in just the corners with the lip liner. And then just draw like a little bit, it's like just two lines down the center. And then I'm going to overlip my overlip overline my top lip a little and the trick for overlining you guys is always follow your natural shape down here in this corner just overline the tops here and then go into your uh, natural crease here and i'm gonna also fill those corners in again and then i take a lip gloss and it's where is it it's right here i always take a clear clear lip gloss this is the shane glosson gloss you know jeffrey star shane dawson um so any clear lip gloss you can do a color too if you want but i like using clear and I go right over top and it looks like that i really like how it looks um i like using the clear because i think the shade of the lip liner is really pretty um so yeah that's what we have going on and that's the whole look you guys <laughs> So it's super easy. It takes not that much time. I'd highly recommend giving it a shot. It's also really great because it's your skin. So you don't have to worry about like your um, makeup smudging or anything like that. It's really easy on the eyes, especially if you only do mascara or none at all. You can also add things to this look to make it even more intense in your own. You can add um, eyeshadow, you can add highlight, you can add whatever you want really. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the look. And if you guys want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe and you can talk to me in the comments. I love reading comments and talking to you guys. That would mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!